What's up guys, Shumster here. Uh, today I'm showing you Evolve, which is this, uh, if you know Hamachi, or I uh, can't think of the other one, but Hamachi where it does the, uh, allows the virtual LAN through co-op games, to play co-op on games. Uh, this is pretty much that, except there's some of the features which I haven't checked out, but I'm doing this for Arma, because when I'm when I tried to play Arma at first, I could not figure out at all how to get a private server going or a private game going for just me and my buddy I just couldn't figure it out and, and I tried Hamachi and it didn't work so this is what I ended up doing and hopefully it works for you guys but so I'm just gonna I uninstalled it and I'll skip over some parts but I um, so I can just download it and show you guys everything but so this is the page so you would just go and download and this is this is for Windows 10 that I'm doing it on so uh, things might differ but I'm just going to go ahead and download it. And obviously it's going to have the setup over here. It's a pretty quick download. Um, I already created an account, so I can just log in. But you should definitely create an account too. So you and your buddies have your own things and stuff. <laughs> That's funny. We're glad you decided to quit playing with yourself and check out Evolve. Nice. Thanks, guys. Uh, go past that. Accept. Yep. I didn't worry about checking any advanced stuff. You can check that out if you want to. That's your that's your decision, but I just screw it. I just went with it. Screw it. Love the bloatware. I actually don't think there's things that come with it. You know, some some programs try to like trick you and like, do you also want Bing? And I'm like, no, I don't want Bing. All right, so that that was quick. So I already got that. I already have an account. So this should be. Let's see if I can remember it. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So you just log in like that. It's pretty simple. Just quick little UI thing. And this is going to pop up. And this is going to pop up. So you see, this is on the wrong side of my screen. It's on my other monitor. You just come with these two things. I have not messed with any of this. So you'll see there's, I mean, it, this seems kind of cool. I haven't messed with it though, so I don't know. So I can't tell you guys that's up to you to check out. But this broadcast, it's multiplayer. I think you can find matches of people. It doesn't look like there's many people. It shows my library, games that that picks up, I guess, and feeds and stuff like that. Uh, what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to close it because I don't use it. I don't need it. So what I have is this right here. I have me, I'm Slimster, and this is Chris Killa. He's my friend. You can he, uh, He's one of my featured channels on my page. He's trying to do YouTube stuff too, so you can check him out if you want. But he uh, he's my friend on this, so it shows him offline. But normally he might be online. So what you can do is if he has set up a party, you could right-click, and I'm pretty sure there's a join party right there. But what I'm going to do is I already created a party, but you should be able to just see how that's like create party. You just right click and I'm going to join my party again so it's going to pop this up and what it's going to do is gonna, would you like to install this device you need this evolve network adapter this is what is going to allow you to do a virtual LAN connection so you have to install that all right so that's installed it's super quick and this is my party and you notice right here it's so up, first of all up here there's I don't know what that is, but there's voice input and stuff like that. So you can you can use this as a chat, a chat thing, so you can talk through this if you want to. Um, I just turn mine off. You can set different things like that. I just turn it off because I don't want it. Um, leave this on host game. And you go into the settings right here. Just leave that host game. I haven't changed that, so I don't think you need to. Um, but you notice right here it says offline. You When you're trying to do this with your friend, he, will, he can just join or you can send him an invite, and he will be right under me. And it will show offline, but what it should show is a little green dot to do that virtual LAN. So you should both be green and showing a little connection. Um, the problem with this is right now is I think it's some sort of Windows 10 error where, and I'll show you how to fix it, where the network adapter is just having an issue. Um, so it's saying the party network cannot be joined. So this isn't going to work until you fix this. So what you have to do is right click down here. If this is Windows 10, you just have to get to your device manager. Um, Go into the device manager and you go into network adapters right under this. You see how there's evolve virtual ethernet adapter. That's what you want. So I'm having an issue with it. There's some sort of issue. Um, you can't just update driver software. That didn't work. I tried it. What you have to do is go into properties and advanced and go under Mac address and put this to zero. It's it. I think it starts as a different value, but if it is just delete it and put it as zero. Um, I can't really tell you what that does. I don't know. All I know is this works. So if you're a techie guy and you're like, don't do that, that breaks all your shit, then I'll 
put that and then don't do it. But right now it works. So, and you notice now it's fixed. It's working. So now that that's fixed, let's check if it's actually working. And it should, I'm gonna restart. I think you just have to restart. Or leave party. All right, I'm gonna relaunch Evolve. Log back in. Obviously you can uh, check log me in automatically if you want to. All right, so we're back in. So once again, there's this thing. This is gonna come up. I don't know if there's a way to turn that off, but you can try to figure that out. But so you get that again. You go back into join party, and it logs into network. See right here. Logged in. Status connected, and it shows us right here. So that is what you want. And now, and now when he joins your party it should show the same thing. It'll show green and the same exact number. And when you have that going, you have to leave this up for this to work. So you, you can close this when you're done playing with this, but when you're trying to do the server, you have to leave this up. So let me launch Arma. All right, so you're back in Arma and go play back into multiplayer. And what you do to make this work is you go into LAN and choose new. Doesn't matter what you name it, you can name it whatever. Johnny, Johnny's fun time. There you go. And you have it on LAN. You just leave these alone. I mean, you can change the Mac players if you want to, but it doesn't really matter. People aren't gonna, you don't, you don't need a password because nobody's gonna see it because it's LAN between you and your friend, so it doesn't matter. So that's all you do right there. Leave that all alone. That's okay. And you have this now. Choose difficulties, you choose whatever missions you want. Yeah, so you press play like that. You go into an actual mission, press play, and then when you're in this screen, you just sit here and wait, and your friend, you can disable AI or whatever, your friend can now see your game in the LAN menu. Um, and it should just say the name of your game, Johnny, Johnny's Fun Time, or whatever. And you choose one, and your buddy comes in and chooses one, and then you're good. You press OK, and you can play. That should be all. It should be as simple as that. And the reason I'm using Evolve is... Um, just because that's the one I could get to work. I tried using, like I said, I tried using Hamachi, and I, I, I don't know if I did something wrong, but it seemed way more complicated. I could not get it to work. And I don't know if there's a simpler way out there. You guys can comment down below and tell me if you're like, hey, you're an idiot. You don't need to do this. But I know doing trying to join game through Steam didn't work, and trying to use the Arma internet, trying to make a game just through the internet with Arma without any other third-party programs didn't work either. So this is what I ended up doing, and this works every time flawlessly with that, with that at least just playing with one other person. I have not tried with, with more people, so that's up to you guys to figure out. Um, but yeah, so I hope this helps, guys. I didn't see much out there for trying to make a co-op game, so hopefully this is a lot more helpful to people trying to figure it out now. And people can figure it out without spending an hour or so like I did just trying to get into a game and maybe getting turned off from armor, which you don't want. So thanks a lot guys, tell me what you liked, what you disliked, and if you liked it a lot, hit that subscribe and there'll be more videos. See you guys later.